my name is Matt Klein, I'm owner of Red Wing Steelworks, and I've been getting a lot of emails lately with the trailer plans um, with, with real simple questions. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a trailer, and we're going to do it step by step. I'm going to videotape everything. Um, I'm going to build a 5 by 8 utility trailer, and you're going to see how easy this really is and how none of it is, is rocket science at all. Uh, it's based on common sense. So uh, one of the first things I wanted to talk about was getting your axle at least ordered before you even start. Um, and I like to get it in my hands and that way I can measure my spring centers and that will determine the outside frame dimensions that you want to use. Now I've got an axle, it's a 3,500 pound axle with no brakes. So it's 58 inch spring centers. And what that means is that uh, the outside dimensions of our trailer frame are going to be 60 inches, 5 feet. So I, I wanted to make sure, I mean, if you build a frame first, you can always find an axle. You can always find someone to make you a custom axle. You know, if you're starting with a frame already, but since I wasn't, and I don't really want to screw around, I got the axle first. I mean, I knew I was going to build this. So that way we can make it perfect. So along with the axle kit, um, obviously it comes with the springs, your hubs, your bearings, everything. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get that far. Um, you want to make sure you get your, your hanger bracket kit, two bolts. Everything I need to mount this to the trailer, I have. I don't need it first, but I have it first. I wanted it first so that I could build the right, the right size frame. You never know. Um, I mean, you can you can make this anything. I mean, this would work for a six by ten trailer, a four by eight, a four by six, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, the the this design is a good one. This is what you see out there. You can. Go to your corner, corner store, and if it's a farm store or something, they probably sell these trailers, Menards, Lowe's. Um, the thing about it is I like to build them because the ones you find on the corner store or at Menards or Lowe's or wherever, um, they're light, they're cheap. A lot of times the welding sucks. Um, they're just... Uh, when I do it myself, I know I'm going to do a good job, and I'm making a heavy-duty one myself for, uh, I'm going to mount a welder on it for my portable welding business, um, so I can have my tools, my torch, um, the welder itself, leads, extension cord, everything can all be on one trailer. I back it into my garage at night, unhook it, and I got a free pickup to use. I, I don't have a dedicated welding truck. Uh, no maintenance involved, things like that. So we're gonna do it step by step and enjoy. All right, guys. Um, we're starting out with raw steel, obviously. I got it all laid out here on sawhorses. And um, we got our channel iron. This is what we're gonna use for, for our hitch. It's three inch. 3.5 pound. I've got some eighth inch 2x2 two by, two by eighth inch angle iron right here. Um, that's going to be like our top frame rail and so forth. And the structure for our trailer is going to be this 2x2 two by, two by 3 16 right here. So I've got it all laid out. Um, also, well, this video is going to be nothing flashy. Um, Hollywood's not going to make this movie, so I am. And unfortunately, we're kind of stuck in my garage, so we'll get going. I'm going to start cutting framework pieces, and we'll, uh, we'll get to it when it's cut, and I'll show you how to set this stuff up. So anyway, um, there you go.